Welcome to this presentation on the features of Spring Data Couchbase Connector. My name is Dima Chichetkin, aka Chetem. I've been working as a software developer for over 15 years and done projects for companies like Lang Telecom, a telecommunications provider in the northern eastern Europe. Zenmoney.ru, the best Russian service for managing personal finances. Politico.com, the go-to website for political news in Europe and the US. In this talk, I will go over the features of the connector, how to use them, and show some examples that we at Couchbase prepared for you. Presented information is based on official documentation and talks by Michael Reich, Senior SDK Engineer at Couchbase, Dennis Rosa, Developer Advocacy Manager at Couchbase, Steve Yen, Software Architect and Co-Founder of Couchbase, and others. But before I dive into details, let me share some thoughts on why you might decide to choose Couchbase as your database. Two key benefits that Couchbase Cluster can provide to your projects are speed and flexibility. Couchbase was created for cloud and naturally supports ephemeral infrastructure. We also provide unparalleled scalability, so if you plan to grow your application, Couchbase may be the best choice for it. Couchbase is not a classic database by any means, starting with the way it organizes your resources. We automatically shard your data into shards that we historically call vBuckets. When your application connects to a Couchbase cluster, it receives Data Sharding Table, or vBucket Map. Our SDK uses this map to locally resolve the node that is responsible for storing your data. This allows your application to communicate with that node directly, without the overhead of communicating to the master server. Using Couchbase eliminates the bottleneck of master server, allowing your application to grow big. Really big. Enterprise level big. When you don't have a master server, scaling your cluster up or down becomes a trivial task. Just start a new node, connect it to the cluster, and click Rebalance. Or, if you prefer, send a POST request to the API. Or issue a command to our command line tool. That's it! Your node is already receiving the data from the cluster and will soon become available to your application. One of the greatest benefits and advantages of Couchbase is our autonomous operator for Kubernetes that automates day-to-day -day database operations. The operator enables DevOps teams to run, out of scale, and manage clusters as a stateful database application right next to their Kubernetes containers. This provides freedom from cloud vendor lock-in. It also supports a variety of deployment strategies for different cloud, on-prem, or mixed deployments. Couchbase automatically replicates your data across multiple cluster nodes. If one of your nodes becomes unavailable, Couchbase cluster will notice it. And it will automatically recover by rebalancing the data across the remaining nodes. We also naturally support cross-data center replication. Our flexible configuration allows delivering your data where you need it, when you need it. These were my thoughts on why you might choose Couchbase as your database. Now it's time to go over connector features. 
Couchbase Connector provides a fully featured integration with Spring Data. It also exposes access to low-level Couchbase SDK API for non-standard use cases. You can install the connector by adding the following dependency to your project. Couchbase Connector version 4 drops support for XML-based configuration, so it can only be configured using Java and annotations. The connector provides the abstract Couchbase configuration class with abstract configuration methods that can be overridden by the developer. The minimal configuration should override getBootstrapHost method to specify cluster addresses, getBucketName method to specify the bucket that will be used by the connector. Finally, implementations should override getUserName and getPassword methods to provide cluster credentials. Couchbase Connector automatically translates Couchbase SDK exceptions into Spring Data's portable data exceptions. This allows developers find and handle the kind of error encountered without knowing the details of the particular data access API in use. Object mapping. Couchbase supports mapping database documents onto Java objects using the document annotation. At least one field of your data model class should be either named ID or marked with ID annotation. The document annotation also provides a way to configure document expiration parameters. If you want to name a field in the entity class differently from what is to be stored in the JSON document, simply qualify its field annotation. The following types of fields are supported by the connector. Scalar values, like strings and numbers. Arrays or maps of scalar values. And lists or maps of embedded documents. Developers may also implement custom converters by implementing converter interface. Repositories. Spring Data Couchbase provides the same built-in queries and derived query mechanisms as other Spring Data modules such as GPA. To create a repository, simply extend the CRUD repository interface. The latest versions of Connector also added support for a paging and sorting repository interface. Custom nickel querying can be done by annotating repository methods with query annotation. The results of a query can be streamed using Java streams. Couchbase can also be used as Spring Data Cache Manager to back Spring's cacheable annotation. This allows caching results of your queries in clusters memory. Scopes and Collections Scopes and Collections is the new way to organize your data on the cluster. It allows consolidating your data from multiple buckets into multiple collections in a single bucket. Spring Data Connector supports scopes and collections via scope and collection repository annotations. To use scopes and collections, role-based access control, or RBAC, needs to be enabled and configured on your Couchbase cluster. Thank you for watching this presentation on features of Spring Data Couchbase Connector. Please feel free to ask your questions either in chat or on Twitter at Chedim.
I hope to see you on our conference, Couchbase Connect, on October 20th. Good luck and have fun.